Yo, yo, yo. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy B from Street Billboards, bringing you another episode of Concrete Legends. And today, we're whipping on through the Know Ya, man. That's right, Pompano Beach, Florida. Home of the Hustler. Home of Chicken Man. And none other than Kodak Black. Born Dyerson Octave, June 11, 1997. Raised in the Golden Acres Public Housing Projects in Pompano Beach, Florida also known as the Puerto Rican Projects, to the locals due to the large presence of Hispanics in the area. Kodak Black, who is of Haitian descent, grew up admiring the streets of his fast-paced community. Pickled eggs, gold teeth, pretty girls, and an unlimited supply of hustlers. This was the Noya. At an early age, Yak adopted the name Jay Black and began making music with his newly found group, the Brutal Youngins. Though their success was limited, it set a musical foundation for young Kodak. It wasn't hard to see he was a star, but the grip of the bride kind of streets, man, they were strong. And before you knew it, let Jay Black, he was finding himself in the trouble. Hitting houses and schoolhouse fights. But this wasn't anything new for a youth of the area. With two older brothers at home and all of his friends being of older age, he was caught up pretty early. Shortly after the Brutal Youngins era, Jay Black found himself under the wings of the Coleones, a local rap duo backed at the time by Dollars and Deals CEO AD. Kodak watched and he studied the swift wordplay of Dirty 1000 and the gritty, the gritty poet in Cody P. And one day, Yak surprised everyone when he recorded Ambition, a heartfelt translation of the struggles in the hood from a 14 year old's perspective. Not long after the Coleones took a hiatus and AD took interest in the managing Kodak Black as a solo artist, and boy, did they make it happen. What started out in Pompano Beach, Florida, spread quickly through the major markets in Florida. Songs like No Flocking and Molly had everyone's attention. And when his first mixtape, Project Baby, dropped, he became the new Haitian sensation. Shortly after, he dropped harder in 2014. Everyone was Kodak bopping. But with still having to chase the bag, Yak found himself back in juvenile detention. While he was literally taking over the game. And while in custody, his music was catching the attention of major artists such as Drake, Kevin Gates, and Soulja Boy. Upon his release, Yak was back in the booth to follow up with his next mixtape titled Institution. On this tape, fans got to see a growing Kodak touch on different subjects. And he was selling out shows with records such as Skirt and Skrilla. Money was flowing in and that brought issues with Kodak and former partner AD. Kodak also seemed to find himself in local disputes with Coleon, One Way Frank, and Choo Choo. It all just added fuel to his fire. With labels at his head in 2015, the Project Baby inked a solid deal with Atlantic Records. And also appeared on that double XL freshman cover in June of 2016. Singles like Lockjaw with French Montana put him high on the Billboard charts. Followed by a slew of hits for the streets back to back. With Florida and the Zoes behind him, he was not the biggest thing in the industry. Introducing artists such as Jack Boy, Wiz the Wizard, Psycho Bob, and his brother John Wicks, and even him with Haitian, just to name a few. And later down the line, Wham Spinner Band and Lil Chris through his KTB brand. Very outspoken and quick to pull a card. Yak does not lack respect in the streets. <laughs> if you know, then you know. Kodak's pull runs deeper than rap. In 2019, Yak pled guilty to falsifying information on a firearm application and was sentenced to 46 months in the feds. But in January of 2021, he was pardoned by the president of the time, Donald Trump. With public issues with figures such as Lil Wayne, Youngboy, T.I., and most recently, Lil Boosie, who was very, very vocal about his opinion on Kodak Black working with 6 9 But Kodak Black's biggest rival to date seems to be Jack Boy, a former sniper gang artist, as well as ex-best friend. The two have been taking shots at each other since shortly after Kodak Black's recent release. Though many times overlooked, Kodak Black will reach back 
to the community and put someone in position. Or even give back to the people. Known for always having food drives and turkey giveaways. Never disappointing us in the booth. He is no doubt one of the world's most controversial artists. But out here in these streets, Kodak Black will always, I mean always, be a concrete legend.